So our patient with hypothermia, remember as the temperature drops, we're gonna have some shivering at first, tachycardia, tachypnea, and we'll lose some shivering and we may end up having uh, more of a confusion uh, to the point where sometimes the internal core temperature meets the external core temperature or drops lower than that and so you see them just take off all their clothes and it has nothing to do with it, them feeling fine they're doing this strange behavior this is going into severe hypothermia and eventually we move into the position where their breathing becomes shallow bradypnea hypoventilating they become bradycardic uh, their skin starts to change from this waxy pale white then to cyanotic and then there's no pulses at all and we are in cardiac arrest so what we want to do is remove them immediately place them in a warm area if they're in the early stages of hypothermia and we want to warm from the core out and this is putting um, hot packs in the areas where large blood vessels are so we can start to rewarm from the core as it goes out and comes back to the circulation <clears throat> it's just another slide as as they're actively warming they want to turn off the air conditioning inside the back of that ambulance unit and put the heater on it's going to get warm and sweltery in there we're going to wrap them up remove any clothing that they have we may even want to put that heat packs directly on their cold skin uh, and just rewarm under the armpits the groin area and keep them covered and bundled up you're going to be monitoring their vital signs and their mental status as we continue to take the patients in. We may have to just add and continue to add more warmth and keep them insulated to keep that warmth in there, right? We don't want the convection, radiation, evaporation, um, conduction of this heat to continue to be lost. Here they're showing us a picture of an immersion type of treatment. We want to actually get this water a lot hotter and we want to maintain that heat for a long period of time. So although they're showing you that we're putting the foot in this, we want to maintain it for a period of time, close to like 10 to 15 minutes for, uh, to actively rewarm this area and maybe even longer. All right. <clears throat> we'll talk a little bit more about this, but take a look at the cold emergencies in your summary and go over how you would address and ask questions and assess and then treat your patient.